Hey, what's going on, BBC fans? I'm Bobby, aka Bot. And I'm James, and I'm the con. And together we are. All right, guys. So I wanted to start off with some honorable mentions, which are the show exclusives. So we've got Boss Man, presented by um, Chosen Prime and um, Fans Hobby. The G2 Grimlock, which is by Fans Projects. And lastly, we've got the Ocular Max, I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's under another one, which is the Rewind. Um, so I didn't want to include these in the actual top fives because I think it wouldn't be fair to include the exclusives because they're always going to have a special place in our hearts. But I needed to put them in somewhere here. So here they are. They're all really good figures. I only picked up the two on the top. Bobby picked up the one on the bottom. So And the two on the top. <laughs> And, and the two in the top, you're correct, yes. <laughs> so um, I'm glad that we were able to get all the ones we wanted. So do you have anything to say about the exclusives? No, I think it was kind of light on the exclusives. And it was good figures. I'm still happy with them. But I, I was expecting hopefully a little bit more. Yes, um, I think you're just spoiled from Chicago's Delta Baser. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's go on to number five. All right, guys. So I'm starting it off with my number five spot, and that is with MMC Spartan or their Impactor. Now, I had to put this in the number five spot because it fills the last person I need for my personal records collection, which is their leader. And it's kind of fitting that their leader is the last one. Um, so I'm very happy to have this as part of my collection and to actually round off my records. So I have that whole shelf checked off and I'm able to move on to the next thing. So this had to be my number five. Nice. Looks good. Yes. And so for me, this is also a whole filler for me and it's the cassettes versus cassette bot versus cassette Tron. So it's, in essence, for the tapes, it was MP15 slash 16, I believe. And these were some of the tapes. I had a big hole in my collection from numbers. And so I was really excited to see this at TF console. I snatched them up. So I have four more tapes. And this is actually going to be a theme of hole fillers for me in my top five. I think it'll be a theme for both of our us. And you're lucky you saw that one first because I want that enemy. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number four. So for my number four spot, I chose Beast Wars 2 Hellscream. Now, like Bobby just said, he was filling spaces in his collection. This is the last cyber beast that I needed. I am so happy to have this. I've been using the Universe Overbite, I believe, as Hellscream for the longest time. To have the actual one really feels nice. I also picked up Thrustinator, which was also kind of part of that collection. So now I have every single Cyber Beast that was released and I'm very, very happy. Not familiar with the characters, but I remember the joy in your voice when you saw it. Yes, yes, I was very, and I also, this is the last version of the Cyber Shark mold, the original one from Beast Wars that I need. So I have all of those as well. So this filled two holes in my collection. <laughs> So let's move on to see what Bobby has in store. So my number four is actually a cheat because I knew I was going to get this. <laughs> I had actually talked to the Chosen Prime and made sure that they were bringing one for me. So uh, this is G2 Jazz, a.k.a. Maestro from um, Make Toys. Excuse me, I couldn't had a brain fart there. And so I really wanted this figure. Jazz is one of my favorite characters. And so I have the um, original version from Make Toys. And so I was really happy to get this one in my collection as well. And so now I just need to get that Ricochet. Yes, the Ricochet is the one I have. It's a great mold. And I really like the colors on this figure, especially the shoulder cannon. I really like the musical note on his chest. Yes. That was kind of cool. Yes, it, it's, it's a very cool little homage. Yes. So for, let me, let me say something else. I've said that every single time. Okay, three, two. So for my number three, I got BotCon Banzai Tron. 
Now, this is a figure that I've always wanted, which is why it's in the top three space, even though it's really not the best figure, but it has one of the best decos I've always wanted. To me, because of this figure, Bonsai Tron should always turn into a boat. I think it's a very unique um, alt mode for a ninja. So I really like that. And honestly, I got a lot of Bakon figures at this TFCon. So I had to put one of them on the list, and this one is my favorite. Even though it came broken and I'm going to have to fix it, I was so happy with this because I've wanted it since it was announced back in like 2006 or seven. So I'm very happy to have this and it's going to make me go back and buy Mirage and Dreadwing, which are its mold mates. Now I need to get it. It's just so cool. Well, you just pulled the bandaid off of something that I had experience with. And that was not one, but two broken figures. Um, I actually picked up, Fans Toys Soar, the red version, as well as uh, the Dark Rodimus or Nemesis Convoy from uh, Masterpiece, and both had broken legs. So, sore spot there. But And Boss Man was missing his butt. Oh, yeah, and Boss Man but was... You got, you got that fixed but quick and easy. Fixed. But yeah. he was missing his butt. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> it happens to me. All right, okay. so... Let's move um, on and see what Bobby got. All right. So we actually had to do a camera camera shift here. So my number three is another whole filler for me, and it's Mirrorverse Transistor, a.k.a. Shattered Glass Blaster. Cool thing about this was I found it everywhere, but no one ever had it with the tapes. I was able to find it with all the tapes, and the price was very, very reasonable. So... Really excited about this. It was new in package, which was also good. So very happy with this. Again, old figure, but it definitely falls in with all the other versions of Blaster that I have from KFC. Definitely. And this is another one you snagged right from underneath my nose. And I am still mad about it. So we'll see if I find this again. So I'll help you look for it. Thank you, thank you. I just want the rat bat. So if you just find the rat bat, that's all I need. Okay, see what I can do. <laughs> all right, so for my number two, I had to pick Wind Girl or Wind Blade. Um, and this figure is very pretty in the most literal sense. The face is actually really pretty, but the paint is gorgeous. Um, the see-through plastic is really nice all around. It's a very good figure. This was, this was going to be my number one, but something else trumped it for something that I've talked about in the past. But this is a really good figure. I like the transformation. I like everything. And I'm very, very highly anticipating their Black Arachnia that should be coming out hopefully this year, knock on wood. I'm very surprised that this came up so high on your list. I know when I picked up mine, you were interested in it, but then kind of, changed your mind a little bit and it, it fell further and further down the list of your items to pick up. So when you grabbed it at TFCon, I was really kind of surprised. And now seeing it at, on your list this high, I'm very surprised. Yes, I, I think it's a very good figure. I really like the paint. The quality is excellent. So, and it's a fembot. And obviously I have a, um, inclination towards them bots it's not a decepticon repainted a slipstream and it would probably have been number one but as it is it gets a very solid number two so this is something that i thought about picking up in chicago when we first met at, in la last year you talked so highly about this figure and just raved and raved and raved about it and i really didn't eh, think about it but then as i started building my collection and doing things with my transformer room i thought this would have a great presence in my cases and we went to chicago and they were sold out and so when i saw it in la i knew i had to grab it so thank you james for recommending it it does look amazing in my case. And so now I'm looking for the red one. <laughs> Good luck finding the red one, but I'm very glad that you have a cryotech in my collection. I'm gonna consider that my shelf, whatever shelf it's on. 
<laughs> now I won't be I I won't have a gangster mob like you do of cryotech <laughs> figures. You know, this is you know, it might be one and done, but this color and and the paint is amazing on it. Yeah, it is. They did an amazing job. And I like the light up feature right there. So yes. So let's go on to our top pick of TFCon LA 2023. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I have to admit, I cheated. I picked two figures to be in my top spot, and that is Mastermind Creations Rat Bat and Deadlock. Now, I merged these guys together because they are the same base mold, and then they retooled it heavily for Rat Bat, which is a TFCon 2019 exclusive. So I found Deadlock in the bags of random junk. And I mean, it had the price to match, but it still was a lot cheaper than what you would have gotten it elsewhere. And I found Rat Bat for a really good price at the Chosen Prime. So shout outs to them for letting me get this. Um, both of these molds I got at previous TF cons. The Rat Bat was repainted as the Shattered Glass Rat Bat or Bat Batman from TFCon LA 2022, and the Drift, I picked up the movie colors in um, Chicago. So this mold's been following me, and I hope it continues to follow me, because it's a very good mold. And these were going to be my number two, but they became my number one as a team, because I cannot put these guys down. And we've talked about it on this channel before. One of the main things I look for in a Transformer is playability. Am I going to take it off the shelf and bring it up with me? Does it look more than just pretty? And these guys fit the bill for looking pretty and making me want to play with them. So that's why they're my number one. I'm very happy to have them. I've already incorporated them into my story altogether. So I, I it made me have a new appreciation for the TFCon Batman repaint as Shattered Glass Rat Bat. So these guys did wonders for my collection. And I cannot wait to put them with everything else. And to show you guys the shelves eventually. I remember when you picked that up, you were very excited. I remember we both picked up the Batman in LA. And I was I was okay with it. But you were so excited when you got this. So I can see why it's your number one. Yes, yes. And I, I was so-so on that Batman. But when I learned those were the same colors for Shattered Glass Rat Bat, completely different story that <laughs> that it's one of my favorite figures it's in my bedroom right now right next to my bed because i was playing with it so much so <laughs> not even joking i believe you <laughs> i 1000 percent believe you yeah and for my number one i'm gonna allow him to introduce himself This is the Weijing Omega Supreme or Ultima. And this was on my list, my target list. It's been on my target list for a couple of years now. So really happy to get this. It was in a perfect box as well. So that worked for me. And the price wasn't outrageous again on this. So I think I'm winning. And he comes with his little bot figure here, his little doctor figure here. So um I'm really excited. Oh, he's dancing a little bit there. I'm really excited about this. And this was my number one. He's a big guy. He's really huge. And so he's in a cabinet right now with my fans toys <laughs> as well. So I have the DX9 version on the way as well. So it's going to be really hard to get all three of these Omega Supremes in the same case. And I actually picked up the Legends. Don't make fun of me, James. <laughs> I don't have to make fun of the Legends collector. Don't worry. <laughs> so this is my number one um love the light up features as well as the voice and things the tank actually rolls um so really good figure really happy with it i have not transformed him to the track because i can't find anywhere to put it yet so um i'm looking to get a, a table that's long enough for me to transform him and put him on that so i can actually have him do his thing Yes, I remember when we saw this, you were so ecstatic. The box was so huge. Luckily, they had it the box it came in to ship back, or we would have yeah. been in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So um, I'm glad you were able to find this and have a little Omega Supreme army. 
I do. I'm really excited. And, you know, I think, I think we may have one TFCon again. We might have, we might have, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Somebody yeah, so, else, you know, might've bought in a, all the botcon sets, which are very expensive. That's possible. I doubt it. I doubt but it. But it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for tuning in again. You know, if you want to see our whole collection that we picked up from TFCon, drop us some lines and we'll see what we can do if there's interest. And if not, we'll see you next time. Yes, we'll see you guys very soon. All right. To all debates are one. See you later, guys.